So what is strength? Strength starts as a thought. And I don't know if, we're, if you want to go through this, go but yeah. yeah, strength starts as a thought. You have to densify that thought. Some people don't know how to do this. Mm. And then you have to convert that thought into electrical impulse, which are nerve pulse trains. And then they have to transmit down the nerves, get to the muscle. And then you need a certain wisdom to translate the pulse trains into force. So there's a hell of a lot, hell of a lot of yeah. components there to work on. Where's the failure? Well, the first thing is the person doesn't even know how to think to create uh, strength. So now we study the great strength athletes and they go to a mental place. They, they flip a switch mm. and they unleash the fuse box. Uh, and uh, as, as you know, if you go to a strength competition, to, say take powerlifting, for example, you'll see the athletes swearing, screaming, mm -hmm. slapping their face. Mm -hmm. you'll, you'll see it in combat situations yeah. in the combat sports as well. Taking their brain to a place where they can densify those thoughts. Now, MMA is a little bit different because you also have to relax. If you use too much strength, you get stiff. You no you speed. Yeah, no speed. Or yeah. You're, if you're fearful, you you stiffen right. up. And, you know, the whole preparation with the combat athletes is to flow, dance to the music coming in to the cage. And all of these strategies that people don't realize what it's all about. They think, mm -hmm. oh, that's cool music. No, that athlete has to stay loose and relaxed to get the speed mm -hmm. because if they get tense and afraid, they're done. But back to the strength athlete. So you'll find a lot of the power lifters go to this I call it the dark place to okay. densify with, with almost a flight or fight kind of rage that they can densify that. But, you know, here's human variability again. You, you, you've heard of, uh, I know you have, uh, Bill Kazmaier. He was mm -hmm. the world's yep. strongest yep. man for the first three years that they ran the competition. And, uh, you know, I, I, I know Bill. Uh, he's, he's different. Bill is such a cerebral uh, thinker. Um, he, he thinks through how he's going to achieve this next feat of strength and, and mm. usually pulls things out that all the other strong men miss. But um, uh, Bill will say, uh, I, I do it very differently. I don't go to a place of, of uh, darkness. I go to a place of light. Well, he's the only guy I've ever heard of. And I'm not going to argue with him. Um, and, and how, uh, well, I, I can tell story after story about Bill on how he densifies neural drive, but he feels the power of the Lord invading his body and supernatural things happen. Mm. But if you're with him, you'll see a little bead of sweat start to pop up here. And mm. then all of a sudden he starts to sweat and he goes goose pimply. And then he just crushes the uh, strength thing. So he has that ability to transform uh, his mind and, and densify the neural drive. So again, I'm, I'm giving you a spectrum now of, of how uh, some people do it, but the, by far the most common, they have to flip a switch and go to that dark place. Then the next link is to form the pulse train. Now that basically the nerves are wires, electrical wires, and they have to carry the, the, the pulse train. So we, yeah. we can train that, you know, say uh, a grinding bench press, get under a heavy load, have spotters, be right on the edge and grind through it. Okay, well, how do you grind? You grind, you use the lats, you bend the bar, you spread the bar, you pull the bar apart, you change the stiffness through your back and get a bench out of your back into the bench of the... Mm. <laughs> do you see what I mean? There's, there's a lot of grinding there and that's teaching the nerves to carry heavy, uh, dense uh, mm. signals. Then there's the speed aspect. Um, I'll, I'll use an example of uh, Brian Carroll, who you know currently holds the uh, largest squat record of any yep. human. He squatted 1,306 pounds. Um, well, I've been with Brian and I've seen this twice. This is amazing. We were sitting out on his back porch and a house fly flew by. He snatched it. There's the fly. Now, you tell me how many anybody in this world can snatch a flying fly. And I've seen him do it twice. So his neurology 
is so special that he can create that speed. And, and people, I, I've, I've heard these analogies, oh, the power lifters are the dump trucks of the athletic world. Well, they may be, they are grinders and they lift them.